Are you thinking of taking any digestive enzymes? Then this video is just for you. Welcome to the Omar Show and subscribe to my channel. You may be taking or considering taking a digestive enzyme supplements, but how do you know which one, if any, is right for you? Because there are just so many enzymes out there. I break down the most common enzymes, what they do and what you need to know about them in this video. Not everyone should be taking digestive enzyme supplements and not all of them are created equal. As a health coach and practitioner, I find that many people with digestive issues want to jump straight into using a supplement. And many times I would rather try other strategies first, not to mention that some supplements can be harmful if used inappropriately. So let's dive into a few of the common digestive enzymes, what they do and who should not take them. Firstly, what are digestive enzymes? Technically, enzymes are compounds that help critical biochemical reactions to happen in your body. These reactions can be anything from making neurotransmitters like serotonin or burning food for energy to breaking down food we eat into similar pieces that our guts can absorb. Oh, and they all end you know where. As I just hinted, digestive enzymes are specifically those enzymes we use for digestion. They are enzymes that our digestive system naturally makes and secretes when we eat. Now all of the macronutrients we eat, carbs, protein and fat, need to be broken down into their individual smaller parts so that we can properly absorb and digest them. They are just too big otherwise. And if we don't absorb them properly, we can get symptoms of fatigue, malnutrition, digestive distress, or a host of other symptoms. It is these individual smaller parts that our body amazingly rearranges and uses to create other larger molecules that our body needs. The most common digestive enzymes you will see on product labels are amylase, helps to break down starch into its sugars. Alpha-galactosidase helps to break down specific fermentable carbohydrates into its sugars. Lactase helps to break down lactose into its sugars. Protease helps to break down protein into amino acids. Bromelain or papain help to break down protein into its amino acids. Lipase helps to break down fats into its lipids. I have written down all of it below this video if you want to write them down for yourself. So who should consider taking digestive enzymes? I would always recommend that you see a qualified healthcare practitioner for an expert opinion on whether your issues can be related to digestion and which, if any, supplements can help you. In general, the most common digestive symptoms that enzymes may help with are bloating, cramping, and or diarrhea, particularly if it happens after eating certain foods. Think of lactose intolerant symptoms after eating dairy. One reason for these symptoms can be that food particles are not broken down properly and the larger pieces travel further down the digestive tract to the microbiota where those little critters start breaking them down themselves. And this is definitely troublesome for certain people. Don't get me wrong, a healthy gut microbiota is absolutely essential for good health and more and more research is showing that how it can affect not only our digestion, but also our immune system and even our mood. So what do you need to know? Of course, you should read the label of any products you take and take them as directed, especially if they are not specifically recommended for you by your healthcare practitioner who knows your history. Here are two critical things to be aware of. 
Firstly, digestive enzymes that break down carbohydrates into sugars are not recommended for diabetics or pregnant and breastfeeding women. This is because taking them breaks down more carbohydrates into sugars than your body normally would. So anyone at risk of blood sugar issues should take caution. Secondly, when it comes to enzymes that break down protein into amino acids, there are a few people who should avoid them because of potential interactions. That is, if you have an ulcer or are taking blood thinners or anti-inflammatories or if you are having surgery. The reason is because the digestive enzyme that break down protein are thought to cause or worsen ulcers as well as have the ability to thin the blood and prevent normal clotting. What do you need to know of possible side effects? Using digestive enzyme supplements for a prolonged period of time may well justify an appointment with a knowledgeable practitioner. There may be strategies or then daily supplementation that can serve you better. If you find that your symptoms get worse or even if they don't get better, you should probably stop using them. Allergies are always a possibility. Or if you know or suspect you are allergic, then you should avoid them. And as always, keep supplements away from children. Before considering a digestive enzyme supplement, you shouldn't just jump to supplementing with digestive enzymes without a proper diagnosis or trying a few strategies first. My first recommendation for digestive distress would be to relax more eat slower and chew more thoroughly. This helps to break down food and can put less stress on your digestive tract. The second step would be to try eliminating certain troublesome food from your diet like dairy, gluten, for example, and see if that helps. So the conclusion is, while many supplements are safe products, they are not all for everyone. I recommend that you read your labels carefully, who should take them, how to take them, when to stop taking them. If you have a medical condition or are taking medications, speak with your doctor or pharmacist. If you want expert advice on whether a specific supplement is for you, speak with a qualified healthcare practitioner. I hope this video helped you understand digestive enzymes better. If you liked this video and found it informative, share with your friends and family. And don't forget to go on my website and subscribe to my newsletter and become a part of my inner circle. And also start your health journey with my smoothie challenge. Go on my website and download it for free. See you soon. Till then, sending you love and health. Bye.